with another kind of Halloween tinged review as such. Um, and this one, uh, this is an album that isn't available on CD, I'm afraid. Who did you say it wasn't available on CD? It is on CD. It's about 10 99 in the UK, so don't worry. Um, it's a bit confusing and over-enthusiastic at this point. It must be the sickly green vinyl, but it is available on CD. But I was tempted because I am a huge fan of Hammer horror films, especially those early hammy <laughs> horror films with bats on strings and stuff. Although, to be fair, a lot of these films still stand up in my mind because they represent a misspent youth and in some ways a misspent adulthood as I keep watching them. But here it is. This is, oh, this is fantastic. Look at that. Is, um, there he is, Christopher Lee. Hammer Horror. Classic themes from 1958 to 1974. Original, sound, original soundtrack recordings, not redone, the real deal, okay? On the back is Peter Cushing. I should do the track list in a second. And there's a gatefold, of course. Bear with me here. With a Gorgon on the one side and then the list of all the composers. Look at all the composers that were involved in Hammer Horror films. As my wife Sue points out, they're all blokes. Which is a different conversation uh, for a different time, but it's true. Um, but the, the album itself comes on sickly. <laughs> sickly green vinyl can you see that so obviously you've got uh, Ingrid Pitt as a vampire in the back and on the other side is a mummy of sorts beautiful not so I oh, it's there's no CD version it is available on CD but I think that but the um, but this is great what's the pressing like it's fantastic because this is like older classical recordings really and uh, it's brilliant pressing it sounds fantastic so what's on it well we've got captain kronos vampire hunter twins of evil kiss of the vampire the mummy dracula quatermass and the pit the legend of the seven golden vampires fantastic film the lost continent Dracula AD 1972. That's the only one that probably goes a bit groovy-ish because it's 1972 and there's lots of cravats in the film and uh, wild dancing. So a bit of a Hammond organ drifts in and out there. But on side two, we're back to the traditional Hammer Horror um, soundtracks with The Devil Rides Out, Countess Dracula, The Gorgon, Hands of the Ripper, Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde. She, oh, it's a great film. The Santanic Rites of Dracula. The Taste the Blood of Dracula. I think Dracula was the probably most popular of their um, franchise, was it not? And then Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell, which is the finale and the end credits section of the music that they've picked for that. Um, it's absolutely superb. And um, I'm very, very pleased I've got this. And it's, um, it's very dramatic. So if, there, if there's a storm going on outside, or um, it really fits in with that. <laughs> or you're cooking tea and things aren't going quite as well as you would have expected. It goes well with that as well. And it goes well with a fine Malbec or a, a, nice, a nice cup of um, builder's tea. But that is Hammer Horror, classic themes, 1958 to 1974. Um, out now. On Screen Gems, I think it is. Yes, Silver Screen Records. Um, and it's absolute hoot, um, if I can use that word and still remain credible. Um, but, it's, but it is fantastic. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. And please do if you haven't. And, and consider becoming a patron or visit the website and look at tons of material to, to see there and go back through the use a little search button so you can see what else has been covered but take care everybody and thank you to all my patrons especially yogi chris andy and Clyde. and i shall see you all very very soon